Hi there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. I wanted to talk with you today about surface area and volume. Let's start by taking a look at that first term, and that's surface area. Surface area is just like it sounds. It's the sum of the areas of each face of the solid. So it's the sum of the areas of the surfaces. If you take a look at this drawing here and you counted the surfaces, we're going to have how many surfaces here? Well, we've got this front triangle. If we look and want to find the area here, you can see we have 12 and we also have that our hypotenuse is 13. Now we would need to use the Pythagorean theorem and we could determine that this side will have to be 5. Now we can find the area of that triangle if we know that it's 1 half the base, which is 12, times the height, which is 5. That'll give us the area of this front triangle, this front face. Now the area of the back triangle will be exactly the same. What about the area of this bottom side here? Well, its dimensions are 10 by 12. And when we have a rectangle like that, we take length times width. The area of this sloped side, also a rectangle, but it's 13 by 10. So we'll be multiplying 13 by 10 to have our square centimeters for the area here. Well, that only leaves one last remaining side, this back side here. That's going to be 5 by 10. So when we find the area there, we'll have 5 by 10. Now, what we need to do is calculate our totals here. Why don't you take a minute and calculate as I have it written out here for you and find the area of all these faces, then total it up. When you've found that, click Continue at the bottom of the screen. To calculate our total surface area, we're going to have 30 plus 30 plus 120 plus 130 plus 50. So our final answer then is going to be 360 square centimeters. That would be the surface area. Remember, it's the total area of all the surfaces. Now, when would you use surface area in a figure like the one we had there? Read over choices A, B, and C and tell me which would be more applicable to use with surface area. If we wanted to paint the outside of this figure, we would want to know the surface area. That's why A is the correct choice. But if we were looking at something like choice B here, fill the figure with a substance, then we'll be looking at our next aspect, and that's discussing the volume. The volume is the measure of amount of space that a figure encloses. So that's if you wanted to see like it would be with choice B there if you wanted to fill something up. To find the volume, you'll always take the area of the base times the height. Look at our figure that we have here. Take the area of our base and multiply it by the height, and you'll have the total volume. Take a minute to do that calculation, and when you're done, once again, just click Continue. The area of our base here would be length times width. 15 times 10, which is going to be 150. Then we'll multiply that by our height, which is 5, giving us our final answer, 750 inches, but this time it's cubic inches when we work with volume. Good work on all of those problems, and if you need any more help with your geometry homework, sign up for Nutshell Math, and I'll see you there.